hello fellow space engineers uh, I figured it's time for another episode so here we go so what's going on well I created this new ship here to help me do some work I am upside down <laughs> so as you can tell this is all done now I was kind of working on that I haven't really had much time to work on space engineers and I apologize for that but with this ship I should be able to move a lot quicker now. I created uh, this experimental um, XRC. What does that mean? <laughs> um, experimental something craft 001. <laughs> I just can't remember. It's hilarious. Oh well. Uh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. But basically, I created this uh, this welding ship to help me progress and uh, to quickly weld parts of the ship because I find that this ship is getting huge and it needs I don't know, it needs some extra oomph to, to get the job done so basically what I've been doing is I created this this ship here as as compact as I could and as cool as I could make it look I kinda did some yellow and black coloring on it I painted the cockpit black so that's pretty cool there you go, that one's done. That's pretty cool. So basically what this ship allows me to do is exactly this. So let's line up here. Yeah, okay. So what I've done with the ship is I've turned the, the welders to be on, essentially. And so they're always on unless I, I force them off. And so by that I mean right in here. See, welders, I got them on. It's so much easier to do this than to, to move with the uh, or to click with the mouse button so I figured this would be just that much better let's see here and mainly what I do is I just go along and I turn off the dampener sometimes and if you're lucky enough you can get it to a speed that will weld and I might have to go tad more yeah okay let's see if that's faster and basically, this is what we do. Just go along. And, yeah. Let's turn the dampers on here. It gets tricky sometimes doing this stuff. But yeah, but that's this part. As far as that, I haven't really done much more work on the ship here. Uh, just been kind of welding parts here and there. So it's 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 turning out quite nicely, I find. I'm going to have to move this here. Yeah, let's give me a second here. Let's do that. Let's move this. Oh, I'm full. Ouch. Okay, that sucks. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Put some components into here. Yeah, I know I can use the welding ship, but that's okay. Let's see what that does. Need to dismantle this. Oh, crap. Ah, there's all my parts. <laughs> oh, at least they're there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, let's go put something away here. What do we not need? Let's go put these metal grids. We can go grab more after. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. But at least got the gravity on, so we don't miss anything. There we go. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do is I want to... I want to put extra space here because I've seen on other videos where they've had a smaller space for uh, for this thing, and it's uh, let's see how do you interact with this? How do you change the color? Uh, there's a way to change your player, the suit of your color using this. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, this is how you can do it. So basically, you go to this your entryway here that you see of the medical bay and you push E and wow okay that's cool I don't know what color I want let's go shadow let's pick shadow this is the gray <laughs> that's cool so there yeah so we figured that out huh, right on guys so let's reposition this thing where is it medical room five I'm gonna rotate P oh there we go I'll put it right there and let's Start building us. Now I need medical components. Oh, yeah. 80 metal grid. So we'll grab that metal grid here. So usually what I do is I run around and 
weld the floor as I go. And that's how I get the other parts of the ship done. Uh, but as, aside from that, I haven't really done much of anything else. Uh, we've been playing some other games here. And yeah, uh, let's see here. So, uh, yeah, okay, 80 middle grid, that's right. Gotta remember that. Perfect, okay, let's do this. Let's, let's weld this up here. There, the weld that in. Perfect. I still need the medical components, but that's all right. I think I'm still building. What am I building? The assembler production. Yeah. So I'm still collecting the magnesium to build these these NATO containers here. The ammo. I'm thinking of just canceling the production from control panel. Production. Yeah. Let's cancel it. There we go, that stops it. So the reason I've done that is because, see I've noticed there's a problem with going in and out of these, ah oh, there we go. It's been blacking out the, the certain, uh, you know, the assembler or like the reactors, but once you, you exit and go back in, you can access it. So I'm not sure, I think there's a bug there. The behavior is kind of modified from what I'm used to, so. I'm not sure what's going on there, but yeah, but otherwise my one ship here is still, I think, refining and still dumping. Let's take a quick look here, what's going on. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's gonna have a long time refining. It's doing the magnesium right now for the ammo, which isn't required, so let's actually push this. Let's push this down to here now. Let's going to process the uranium which is going to suck it to the ship I think I'm not sure where it's gone I haven't tried it like this but anyways <laughs> so this is still refining I'm gonna to have to go mining with it again I guess pick up more stuff oh there's a new update with the game where they've added breakpoints on these landing gears so let's go mess with those settings here let's see Doors are working not too bad. Okay, uh, right into here. Uh, okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so let's take a look here. Hopefully the music isn't too loud. Uh, I haven't really messed with my settings, so it should go from there. So anyways, so what I was looking at, is I'm gonna look at the landing gear. Here we go, these landing gears. Okay, so right now it's unlimited break force. So what happens if we it's three landing gears save? Perfect. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I can actually control auto the dock, auto lock, auto arm and my force applied to keep it attached. It's larger than this. Oh, okay, I understand. So basically, we can you tweak how much force is required before the ship breaks loose so I'm gonna make these ones where you have to turn on and off and then you lock and unlock that's just the way I think it should be on this ship I am thinking of using those as for for the components that maybe you can hook into your ship or yeah into your ship I'm not sure exactly what kind of ship and another big thing is rotors rotors now have power that goes to them so what does that mean well that means now we can actually create mechanical components into our ship <laughs> and I have a plan and I'm going to show you what that plan is when it's done I'm not even going to mention it but yeah definitely definitely I'm, I'm going to be playing this game a little bit more now uh, with the new changes, there's some cool ideas I want to do. Um, I've been kind of waiting for that right opportunity. And so, yeah, uh, let's jet back off. Let's run around here well a bit. Uh, so basically, this is the crappy part about all this, is I have to run around and do this stuff. Weld. Because there's components that aren't welded yet. Uh, not even the stairs. You know, all this stuff stuff uh, as we run up here right here I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do up here I know this is the main cockpit this is where you're gonna be to pilot oh yeah there's a new thing as well uh, let's see here uh, where 
is it? Okay, with these gyroscopes. Now they've added. They've added. Uh, oh, here, show center mass. So. Where is the center mass? Huh, that's interesting. Oh, there it is. So, basically, what this is, is. It's showing you the center mass of all the vehicles. So it looks like the big ship, looks like the grasshopper, and then the 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 experimental repair craft. That's what that means, XRC. Yes, experimental repair craft right there. So it shows you the, the central kind of mass for it to, to move, to turn. Um, it has something to do with the alignment of your gyroscopes and how they are in a ship. So. They're all centralized, which means they're pretty good. Um, I've been having an issue with my main ship, with my Charlotte Moore ship there, the green one. And I'm not too sure what. Um, every time I accelerate with the large thruster, it, it slowly twists the ship and turns it to the left, I think. So I think it might be center of mass issue. And if that's the case, then uh, definitely we're going to have to do some tweaks to that. <laughs> that's not acceptable so let's get back into our our ship here oh you gotta be careful you can die by these welders if they're they're welding which is kind of neat uh, let's go forward here you need to line up and it's pretty tricky with the camera views to line up exactly as you need it okay well let's move it forward okay now let's move it up. So yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on welding here. Actually, you know what? That's, no, I don't want to do, oh, no, oh, see, look at that. <laughs> Puts you right there. Had I moved towards these, I would have started to die. Ouch. Okay, I actually want to build large thrusters on this thing here. So let's, oh, it is grabbing the uranium. That's crazy. So that's cool. So it's bypassing the other ship. Good. And. So hopefully it's being sucked into the reactor. Um, oh yeah, it is too. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay, so I need large tubes because this is what we'll use. 100 of those. So what I want to do is I want to create... I had an idea the other day here is to create kind of like observation. Um, you need to create some observation levels here. You're peering in to the the area here so that's kind of the idea I had and then another idea I have is to completely ignore that and just to leave it all like this oh I got and I think something with the thrusters on your your jetpack I think they've changed those too I think they made them less efficient because now it seems when I I carry more and more objects then it it doesn't seem to to oh yeah look at that okay Oh, it's in the center. It's weird. Yeah, no, oh, it's in the center. Okay. Yeah, so I was going to leave it like this, but I think the observation, like with glass, would be kind of cool. So that means that in here, I need to do something about this pad here. Uh, so it has to come up. Because this is too low. Oh no, wait, it's the bottom. So this is the first layer. And so the first observation windows would have to be on this, this second level here. So let's let's do this, guys. I'm gonna place these here. Uh, uh, but it should be interior. Crap. Never mind. Ha. So I'm gonna take these out. I'm actually going to put interior plates, or plates, yeah, interior floor pieces here. One, two, or wall, or whatever you want to call it. I use them as floors, walls, whatever, because I like the look of them. And I think they do the trick, so let's kind of go along here. I'm not sure how big this corridor should be. Maybe make it too wide, I don't know. 
Okay, that was strange. Just had my computer lag out on me, but that's all right. So what I was doing is I was thinking of how far to put the wall. And I think that's about how far it's going to go, I think. Um, I'm not sure about this part, though. So I'm going to have to probably put this here and leave that. And yeah, so yeah, so so we'll do that. Maybe make it two wide. I think one wide's not quite enough. Let's see here. Let's let's test this out. So for it to come here, we have glass over here. Uh, yeah, let's make it two wide. That, that was, I'm gonna follow that instinct. So let's do that two wide. Uh, now I don't know how many observation decks we're gonna have here. Because I need uh, a spot to put the thrusters too. Because I need to start kind of putting putting that on the ship here too. So let's see here. Let's see what we'll do. Uh, I definitely need to put some thrusters on the bottom here. Where exactly I don't know, but that's fine. I'll we'll just kind of I'm just going to position them, but I'm going to actually finish them off camera, just so that way I don't bore you with those details. Uh, let's see here. I'm just trying to think where I want the thrusters from the back, because I have a certain idea for the spaceship itself. It all depends on where everything's positioned. Uh, let's see here. It's, let's... Let's flip this. Uh, okay. Um, how about page up? Oh, what's that? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what that. Crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to actually place it just to see based on. I'm gonna go one more about here. I'm gonna get out of the way of it. Okay, let's see what that is. One from the edge. So, is that enough? No, I don't like that. It's not very good. Yeah, the reason for that is because there's going to be a main central part of the ship back here. Alright? And there's going to be thrusters on the back of it. A whole crap load of them. And I just need these thrusters on this square unit here to maneuver it so I think what we're gonna do yeah so what I'm gonna do is essentially I'm gonna have to build this up and I'm gonna come back once I built this up to where I think where we've got some observation the decks and a spot to put the thrusters because what I'm gonna do is basically position the thrusters in the middle of this square here Kind of facing me and facing to the front, the back, up and down. Uh, the up and down, I think, will be potentially on the roof and on the bottom of this thing. So yeah, so I'll come back once I've I've done this part here, and yeah, and I'll see you soon then. Well, welcome back. So I've been kind of messing around with the concept. I'm gonna leave this area here, kind of. You know, the way it is, I'm going to put a glass in there and this is going to kind of form the outside of our, our ship on this side here, I think. Oh, getting a bunch of lag. I'm not sure why, but that's okay. So anyways, here where you see the thrusters, that's where I'm going to put it all. I'm going to put it, I'm not sure why I'm getting lag now. It sucks. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Back again. It must be something to do with the recording. So anyways, so these thrusters here basically are going to be the main thrusters. Going to have the same bank on the other side. And then I'm going to put some on the top and the bottom. And then we're going to see and maybe some on the back here, somewhere up top here. I think up top here. Because I want it to angle down a bit and then to go f flat straight back. So yeah. So that's what I've been doing. I'm going to work on this a bit more, and I will give you guys another update as soon as I have something more to show. All of you have a great day, and yeah, I'll see you again.